Last year, I bought an apartment in Paris. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Renovations are hard. This is how things went. I'd like the chance to explain myself and how I ended up in this situation. This is my living room, by the way. <laughs> I've made every possible mistake there's to make. But then again, what was I expecting as a chaotic person in a chaotic city? I'm ready to just start living here already. Okay, so let's rewind for a second here to give a little bit of context. When I got my keys back on April 11th, I believe it was, I thought I was pretty much done, right? Like normally you can just kind of move in to your space once you have the keys. But as I'm coming to learn about myself, I just, that was too simple. Okay, I thought, 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 I thought
Okay, first purchases. <laughs> oh. Aha. Ah. Remodeling and furnishing a place, all while trying to live there, turned out to be much harder than I could ever imagine. One bottle of water. Did you see that? <laughs> it's actually impossible to do all three at once, and I was trying my best to juggle them all. I don't want it to blow up on me. This way, I don't have to buy plastic bottles of soda water every single time. It's reusable every single time. I'm going to get so my money's worth out of this. Oh, you cannot beat that. Yeah. Now, while I was making progress, I quickly realized I was going to need help, a lot of it. And thankfully, reinforcements arrived. My parents just made it into Paris. My mom has never been in Paris before. So excited to reconnect with them. ¿Qué te parece? ¿Qué cosas? Hasta ahora. París hasta ahora. Quilombo. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Mucha gente, yeah. mucho tráfico. Shanna. Peppa. Love the stairwell. Love the stairwell. Yeah. Wow. And my mom is very similar to me in that she is an artist and she does not like cutting corners and she really cares about creating a beautiful environment. This is insane. <laughs> it's so pretty. Nice. Nice. Wow. <laughs> I love the apartment. We're gonna make it stunning. Okay, so what happened? Well, uh, the scale of this project definitely ballooned, okay? <laughs> we go a little bit lower than what it is right now, but all across this wall, this gets completely removed. Beautiful iron brackets with reclaimed wood shelving. All the way to the end, you'll have a ton of storage. We have to remove this. I can't believe they put this. What were they thinking? <laughs> we did a lot of stuff I did not think we were originally going to do. Paint this white. Yeah. That's it. Okay. We have to remove the contact paper. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Can we do that ourselves? We could try. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Think I'm good at this? Wait, 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 wait. I need some help. Maybe that it was easier. You should have read all the instructions. Go! Oh boy, we're gonna need to apply a lot more of this shit. I don't think I did anything. This is so messy. We're uh, going to some magic store or something. I don't know, I asked her like six times where we're going. It's like an interior her. design oh. you know, store. But it's, you know, a classic example of like, okay, we're gonna do that, so then why don't we do that as well, and then that as well, and then that as well. Definite no. Is Nace doing okay, shopping? And before I knew it, I had six weeks of renovations ahead of me. Plus, we had to be hunting for furniture and decoration and like doing all this at the same time. This is Nace plugged into his own remodel project. This is Nace coping with the intensity of his parents. Living this way really makes you appreciate things in a different way in a different way. There's a lot of firsts. You unlock the ability to sleep on a mattress, for example. Non-air mattress sleeping unlocked. <laughs> you unlock the ability to sit on a chair. Because when you start from scratch, it's like every little thing has a noticeable impact on your quality of life. Symbolic moment. Finally, this bed that I have been sleeping on for too long. I'm no longer sleeping on that. Because this big boy, this bad boy is here cloud of heaven. Not to mention that all the while, it's summer here in Paris, which is the most expensive time of the entire year, okay? It is not cheap to get a nice hotel or an Airbnb. And because I have committed all of my resources to this, there was really no way I could be doing that at the same time. And so it started to dawn on me that I had completely underestimated what I had gotten myself into. So basically, we cannot begin with construction work for a couple of weeks. I love being here, it's great energy. And I don't want to leave, you know, but I understand that. Bit of a might reality check, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't despair. It's part of the process, you know? Yeah. What has been so incredibly important to me, what has really fueled me across these crazy last few months, has been that ongoing desire to create a gorgeous home for myself and for the people that I love and care about. What do you do in this kind of situation? Well, you do your best. I knew a hurricane was coming, and all I could do was tackle one thing at a time. Yes, yes. Check this out. What a hell of a table. Great mom's stamina when it comes to research. Oh, we no longer use the word stamina. It's just endless energy. <laughs> uh, you're wiped out. 
Mace today was exhausting. <laughs> Slowly, what was once an empty apartment began to come alive. Okay, I have a small situation. Uh, <laughs> The dining table arrived today and it's gigantic. There's no way I can carry this up alone. Six flights of stairs. Holy f you two did it alone? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. You guys are the fing best. Sure. Holy s. Oh my god. This is a beautiful table. Tavern style. No, right? Don't say that. No, don't say tavern. <laughs> is that tavern style? What it's, is it? It's more like rustic, manly. It's very manly. Isn't that a tavern? Okay. okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So yeah, the time would come where construction work was going to force me to rely on professionals. And this also meant that I had to move out of my apartment again. What that has resulted in are th some of the craziest months of my life, these last three months. Traveling around to try not to be here, but then returning often to be able to consult and make decisions and manage this whole thing. New tiles. <laughs> These tiles are going to replace those tiles. I've stayed at friends' places. Overstayed my welcome with a few friends. Three weeks into things, so as you can imagine, I've kind of exhausted that option. I've stayed here and basically squatted in my own apartment for the time that I could tolerate it. Here's my current sleep setup. This is my bed. It's not easy. It is not easy living in a place where there's dust absolutely everywhere. There isn't a surface without dust right now. You know, it's interesting. Paris, like many cities around the world, has been a reflection of my own sort of mental state at different stages of my time here. So for example, Paris is this oppressive, not so beautiful, unfriendly place when you have a poor living situation. I had the opportunity to create this sort of different relationship with the city and with my immediate surroundings. I really think that art and beauty in general are sort of the reason we're here, you know? It's a huge piece of the meaning of life. And this chaos, by the way, just a mess. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's something that I kind of feed off of. It's like, okay, we're doing this thing. Life is an adventure. All right, I do wanna pause briefly to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Storyblocks. And I'm very grateful for their support because without their support, none of these renovations and the furnishing of this place would have been possible. I'm taking along the journey of transforming this space because I believe that beauty is a value and it's something that I seek to incorporate in all facets of my life. It isn't just decorative, it's a core element of life, at least in my eyes. And that's why I pour my heart and soul into these stories that I'm telling. To me, it's not just content that I'm making here. This is art in a sense. These are stories of my life. And so I see my videos and things that I make in exactly the same way as I see this space. And Storyblocks is one of the tools that I use that allows me to express myself without restrictions. They offer unlimited downloads to their royalty-free demand-driven library. And I think it's extremely important to have access to such things as sound effects and overlays and light leaks because it allows me to craft my stories in exactly the way that I want to. And sometimes you cannot get the exact shot that you're looking for on your own. If you're a content creator or are interested in making things yourself, I'd consider checking them out. They offer subscriptions for every budget, and so if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you, Storyblocks, for sponsoring this video and making these adventures of mine a possibility. And now I would like to explain to you where I've ended up with the makeover of this apartment. Okay, let me show you something. So this is my living room, okay? And I have debated tremendously over whether I should show you where the apartment is at at this stage because I wanted to have this amazing, perfect, final conclusion, right? Where the whole place is done and beautiful and set up. But unfortunately, that's just not possible. This entire process is taking a lot longer than I ever thought. Part of it comes down to supply chain issues. I ordered stuff months ago that still hasn't arrived. All right, bed frame just arrived. Making progress. Oh, oh my God. You got it? Renovations do not run on schedule, okay? There's other, things take longer than you ever think they will. There are surprises along the way, as you've seen so far in this video. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I mean, really, on a fundamental level. All right, so you have to use a screwdriver to get in and out because as you can see here, we removed the old handle of the door and uh, haven't replaced it just yet. That being said, I have been committed to taking you along the whole journey. And so I wanna share what's honestly happening. And so while this space has a long ways to go, I still need quite a few months to, to really 
bring this whole space all together, I wanna to show you some of the exciting changes that have already taken place. Look at this, okay? You ready for this? This is my living room. Look at that. All of the walls have been painted this beautiful off-white kind of cream color. I got this gorgeous couch, very comfortable. This couch is where I hope a lot of super interesting deep conversations can take place. The kitchen has seen quite a few transformations that I'm very happy about. I'm really happy with how far we've come, but it's incomplete. When it's all done, it's gonna look amazing. These tiles, oh, I love these tiles. My bedroom is really coming along. I still need to figure out a lot of details here. I'm in love with this mattress because sleep is life and very important to me. So I'm having to use tape as temporary handles here for getting access to my clothes because I just do not have enough knobs for the doors. So, missing pieces, but you know, little by little. We're gonna frame some of my paintings and it's really cool to like put them up on the wall and start to see them. So, very happy about that. I am so pleased about how all of this is coming together. Even with all the missing elements, there's a cozy feeling here. I mean, literally the window is open right now and that shows you just how peaceful it is right here, which is so rare in Paris. So, you know, we're making progress and I've just gotta be patient with getting to the final result, whatever that might be. I have a feeling maybe this space will always be evolving, you know? The thing is, I've just had to contend with the fact that good things take time. This was never going to be a fast process. It's teaching me a lot about myself because I'm a very impatient person. I want things now. But in a world that teaches us to have constant, immediate, instant gratification. I think it's very powerful to learn the value of patience, to play the long game, to commit to something, even though there are highs and lows. It is in my nature to kind of bulldoze forward, to just power through and use all of my energy to bring things to life as quickly as possible. It's something I'm good at, but it gets me in trouble sometimes because there are things that you cannot force. And I'm showing you my apartment in its current state to show that this is how far I've come so far. I'm learning as I'm going along to enjoy the process instead of just trying to get to the destination as fast as possible. Cliche, I know, and it's a lesson I'm continually having to relearn. But what I am so happy about is that I can live here now. All of the worst renovations are done. There are more things to do, but I can live here. I can work here, I can dream here. And that for me has been the element of all of this that has been absolutely priceless. Going through this process has shown me the people that I know I can count on. Oh my God. It's through adversity that you can see the people that sh will show up for you. And I have to give a big thanks to Jean, who has been wonderful to work with and has done an incredible job with all the renovations so far. I'll leave a link to his Instagram account in my description. And I also kind of had this narrative in my head that everything would sort of be figured out once I'd be here and settled, and that's actually not at all the case. I've been telling stories and doing the things that I love all along the way, and that's not going to change. One thing that has been incredibly cool to witness has been different people that have been flowing through this space. My friends, my family, other content creators. You know what? I'm not even gonna call them content creators. I don't like that term, it's so vague. Other artists, other people that are making beautiful things. And that for me has been the, the real value add, if you will, of this apartment more than anything else. It hasn't solved my problems. It hasn't automatically guaranteed happiness but it is helping me live the life that I want to live. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but I am incredibly grateful to all of you for helping me make this happen, for supporting my work, for showing up and watching and commenting and being part of it, feeding into the energy. This has been an incredibly beautiful process. I hope to be able to share with you very soon the fully renovated, decorated space. Give me a few more months to do that. But one thing I can't promise you is that there are going to be more stories coming out of this little apartment I like to call Atelier de Tess. Celebrating finally? Yeah, we're making progress! Woo! Yeah! Good looking parents. Can we go eat soon? Yeah, yeah, let's go get lunch. Okay, like zoom in real close. Can we go eat? That's all that talks about. Food is everything, people. Look, right here. This is food. This is cheese. I just had one bite of one thing. He has never had an apérol spritz before. Oh, look. I'm in heaven right now. I am in heaven. And we're out already. Oh, I'm very happy. I had a moment where I was like, oh, I, I love this beautiful, sensitive man who has made it to see me in Paris. So, I'm very happy. I'm excited for the next couple weeks. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I just got internet. Fiber, let's go. Oh. 
Oh, oh my God. Some ASMR. Oh, I'm gonna use the living shit out of that. Okay, we're all over the place. I'm trying to keep us organized, but they just bounce from thing to thing. Transporting my first chair. You're standing on it because the elevator's not big enough. Paris elevators, man. And this is a spacious Paris elevator. Look at this guy here. He's got his chairs. Progress. He's looking happy. Progress. Little wins. And we have four. Man, enough for a party. Is four people enough for a party, would you say? A party of four? <laughs> or five, and then one person awkwardly has to stand. So a party for you is five people. <sighs> A party would be like 10 or 12. But can five be a party? One could be a party if you do it right. <laughs>